Connecting Point is on the road in Hampshire County. We are at the Yiddish Book Center in Amherst. We thank them for their hospitality. And with us now to give us kind of the pulse of Hampshire County, Monty Belmonte. He is program director and morning host at uh, WRSI Radio, The River, better known as 93.9, right. 101.5. Thank you, sir, for uh, carving out some time in your busy schedule. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hampshire County, yes. Northampton, Amherst, and areas surrounding. It seems to me this has got to be a fascinating and challenging area to be a radio host. Uh, I, it's definitely fascinating. I don't know how challenging it is because it's so rich in so many different resources with so many colleges, so many intelligent people that you can get to come on your radio station, uh, so many great cultural events. You know, we're in a Yiddish book museum. I believe it is the only one in the United States. Right down the street is the only children's book art museum in the United States. So for an area that is not population dense, it is so rich with things to, to talk about on the radio. I mean, let's throw that out. I mean, there's just so much diversity in the populations attracted by the colleges yeah. and universities. So many people who've come from bigger communities, from overseas. It really is a, an amazing place to put out an idea on a radio program yeah. and see what comes back. It is amazing. And, you know, the if you aren't having a great and culturally rich program, it's you're almost your own fault. It's, you know, you pluck an apple from any tree. There's so many interesting people right here on Hampshire College. I have a, an astronomer as a regular guest to talk about the wide world of the world and universe at large and stuff and you know artistically there's tons of people to talk about Ken Burns was you know right here off of this campus and on the great you know PBS networks doing these documentaries and he's always willing to talk even to the small you know local radio station in Northampton Massachusetts because he feels a connection culturally still to this area let's talk about some of the things that have made news in this greater Hampshire County community in, in the last uh, weeks or months. In Amherst, a, a lot of attention and, and, and uncomfortable attention and a lot of concern focused on uh, some racist graffiti targeting an African-American teacher yeah. at, at the high school. That really seems to have shaken the community, hasn't it? It has, but it's been great to see how much the community has rallied around that teacher in particular. And, you know, likely it's one person with this, you know, bad attitude, bad motivation doing this bad thing that um, has galvanized the greater community at large around the idea that we don't stand for this in this area and the, there may be criticisms that could be levied at the Amherst Regional School District in the ways that they maybe have handled it in the past but to see the people of Hampshire County come out and stand with that teacher and say this is not what we're all about has been you know it's trying to make a positive uh, out of a negative situation. UMass Amherst Plans for more off-campus housing, 700 students, development they're calling the retreat in the, in the Cushman Village part of the campus. Kind of a quiet rural yeah. spot at, at, at this point anyway. People concerned about that. A lot of attention and concern focused because of what happened recently. That what's been growing as kind of an annual event around St. Patrick's, the Barney blowout uh, a situation developed in March, a, a student drinking, rowdy behavior. In fairness, a lot of the people weren't UMass students, yeah. but still trouble brewed, that's got the community looking carefully at what happens in that new development. I think so too, and I mean and there is a definitely a distinct bridge between town and gown that Amherst is constantly trying to overcome, and a lot of the people responsible for that behavior at UMass have nothing to do with this community for, uh, for any length of time other than maybe their college years, or may not have even had anything to do with UMass Amherst at all. Um, the retreat is controversial for a number of reasons. There's a salamander that is there that the community is trying to rally around to save that may or may not be as prevalent as, as the conservationists think that it is. And then, you know, you've got the other end of the spectrum, the development. What should we do with the development? Is it a historic village? Or are they now thinking of it as a historic village just so it's not in my backyard? And yet we want the university to thrive. You want to have more students come there and they need to be somewhere. So it's not any, there's no one easy cut and dry answer. I wish there was. <laughs> but then what's but to then talk about on your show, about, right? Nothing to be talking about. I can't make jokes about the salamander and also make fun of, you know, the people that want to put that retreat in. Uh, then it wouldn't be any fun. Let, let's talk about the, the place that's your home base for your broadcasting, Northampton. Yeah. I, I think it's fair to say it's, it's the cultural capital of Western Massachusetts, Northampton I would, Amherst. I uh, would agree with that, yeah, because... 
you know, I know people that have gone to UMass as students. Um, and like I said, there is that town gown thing. They never get off the campus there. And if they were to only cross that bridge and see like the, the richness that is Northampton, I think they'd be astounded. It, it really is such a unique place for a community of its size. A lot of times people are surprised when they find out it's a population of about 20, 25,000. Yeah. It seems much bigger, much more cosmopolitan. And it is always busy. It's, it's the model downtown right. of the region. You don't see empty shops there. And because of that, to some extent, and everybody wants to live there, it's an expensive place. That's and, true. and that's an ongoing fight. In radio, I can't even afford to live there. But I love to be there, and I, you know, that's it's one of the blessings and the curses of success. You know, if you become so successful, then the real estate value goes up, and you push out some of the people that can't afford it. Gentrification gets thrown around a lot; uh, it's a dirty word, and there is a dirty aspect to that. But at the same time, you want the shops to be there. You want to be able to support the local businesses. You want to be able to court local businesses in. You want to be able to afford to shop in those local businesses. And then you've got the other side of the coin again where there last year was a giant controversy in the town of Northampton where there were too many panhandlers. So they removed all the benches from downtown, this beautiful walking downtown. And, you know, if you, you, there's an, a, a, an offside to success as well. And maybe it, it is courting uh, panhandling, but I think it all creates this beautiful tapestry. The panhandlers, the local shops, the artists, the people playing on the street. That's part of what makes Northampton great. And it's never, ever a dull moment. Never a dull moment. We have a rainbow crosswalk. Now, what more could we ask for? Monty Belmonte, the program director, morning host at the River, 93.9, 101.5. Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you.